What up, y'all? This is your boy Yankees fan for life, aka the wrestling kid, back with another vid. Um, I'm gonna talk about this Osama BS in this vid, but um, I'm not gonna talk long on it because uh, guess what? Wrestling Jesus already made three intelligent vids. Saying everything that's on my mind. Um, so I'm going to keep this one short because uh, he goes into much more detail in those vids. And I don't want to sound like I'm repeating him. But um, my little short thoughts on, on this crap is that, uh, first of all, it was reported that Osama, although we can't always believe everyone's, every everyone else's, intelligence you know uh because everyone lies every country lies even our own okay our own government tells us lies every single day it was reported in 2002 that osama had died from liver cancer or something like that now i don't know when osama died but oh oh osama I, I believe has been dead for a while and um his body was already buried at sea. You're not going to find evidence. I mean, you would have to scour every water in the Middle East to find him. And uh, who's going to go through all, all of that? So once the government decided that they believe he was dead, and great for Obama, uh, uh, his re-election is coming up, and... Um, he he needs something to to help him get reelected, and so saying that he is the mastermind behind Osama bin Laden's death is just some more political bullshit. And um, you're telling me you're telling me that we can show Saddam Hussein. We can show pictures of him. We can show him getting hanged. We we can show pictures of 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 his sons with bullets in their faces and uh Saddam. We 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 can show him the pictures of when he was found in 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 the cave. We can show that. We 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 can show him dead, his autopsy and all of that. But we're not gonna show Osama bin Laden. The most wanted man in the world. Come on. Seriously? Because why? Because the government wants to uh, honor... The government buried him at sea, first of all, to honor Muslim tradition. Didn't President Obama in his speech say he does not consider Osama bin Laden a Muslim? He, in fact, considers him a killer of Muslims. So why are you respecting Muslim tradition? You don't even consider him Muslim. Does that make sense? Every day the story keeps changing of the whole firefight situation that happened leading up to the killing of Osama bin Laden. Uh, like Wrestling Jesus said, Osama bin Laden is like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, or something like he's a really tall guy. What woman can he put in front of him to shield him? Unless he crouches down behind her. I'm not saying that Osama Bin Laden wasn't a coward. But in a firefight situation, I can't see that being his first move. Uh, I definitely see him standing up and trying to defend himself, looking for a gun, looking for something. Also, and you, you, you know what? This little video is nothing. Go to Wrestling Jesus' page. Go to his channel and check out his three videos because he goes into such depth. You're telling me that Osama bin Laden, the biggest, the biggest name in terror, doesn't have guards at his door. He doesn't have men in, inside with him. He's a man like him would be, be protected at all times, at all times. The war in Afghanistan isn't over. We haven't pulled out of there. So supposedly we're still looking for him. So he's going to be unprotected? At, 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 as soon as we get intelligence of where he's at, 
we go into strike and it just so happens he's unprotected? Come on. Come on. Seriously. Seriously. When I was in the desert, my first sergeant, my commander, they had their own tents. And guess what? They were guarded at all times. They had their drivers with them at all times. Little first sergeants, little commanders, that they weren't the general of the army or the command sergeant major of the whole army. They're just little first sergeant of this company, little company com commander of this little Bravo company. And they have guards. The president has guards. Every any, anyone in 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 some sort of power, the mayor, everybody is guarded. So you're you're telling me that that the enemy is stupid, that they're that stupid that they wouldn't guard him? Come on, man. Seriously, Ser seriously. And we and we this country respects Muslim tradition. Come on, that's a crock of BS. They don't want to show the pictures because they don't have any evidence. There are no pictures. There's nothing to show. This place got burnt up, but yet they 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 recovered all 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 of this computer technology, and and the computer should have the hard disk should have evidence. Come on, come on. I thought the place was burnt up. It's ridiculous. First of all. I don't believe this war should have ever happened. This was a revenge war. This wasn't about anything else but revenge. That Bush d decided he 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 wanted to go in on. So fine, we went there for revenge. The, this wasn't a strategic war by any means. We are the most powerful army in the world. We have Navy SEAL teams. We have Army Special Forces. We have Marines. We are more trained. We we could have gone in and got Saddam Hussein without having to kill all of Baghdad, pretty much. We we could have if we were going after Osama bin Laden, we could have found him with all the satellites that we have. If the if the man was having a, 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 a correspondence with his with his leaders via the internet we can't detect that we can find out if someone is um having internet sex with a kid you, you know what I mean and 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 stalking someone we, we can find all, all, all of that out but we we haven't put our best effort in, in, into uh, pene penetrating um, um, uh, communications between terrorists it's on the internet how 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 do we not have that intelligence already believe me I know some technological wizards in the army that could have probably done done that had that task been put to them and I'm sure I'm sure the government knows much more that come on, they know much more than they let on. Than they let us know. So I it's all a bunch of bullshit. It's all a bunch of bullshit. We we went into Baghdad and killed a bunch of innocent citizens for revenge because of the Twin Towers. That was revenge. That's all it was. And you you're respecting Muslim traditions. You can't show pictures. Come on, and, and and now all of a sudden he was unarmed. There was no weapon. We're saying that now. Well, not we, but the government is saying now they're saying that he was unarmed. You know why they're saying he was un unarmed? Because there is no evidence. There is no proof. There is no weapon with Saddam's fingerprints on it. There's no evidence because he was not there. They went in and raided some place, killed and killed some some Muslims, killed some a a Arabs, and then said, "Yeah, that was Saddam's pe people." They don't want to show pictures. All of a sudden, now they don't want to show pictures. They can show pictures of Saddam, but they can't show pictures of Osama bin Laden. It doesn't make sense. 
It doesn't make sense. Don't believe everything the government tells you. Don't. And now Barack Obama wants to take full credit for uh, the killing of Osama bin Laden. First of all, if any president is going to take credit for anything, it should be Bush. Bush started the war that got the Americans into these Arab countries. First, first of all, so if, so if we have a, a Americans in these countries gathering up intelligence, it's because Bush sent sent us in there first. Any president. Any president, any, any, anybody in charge with any kind of brain, if, if your intelligence comes back and tells you, we know where Osama bin Laden is, do you want us to go in there and get him? Duh, duh. It doesn't take a brave man. How is, those, how is Barack Obama so brave? It doesn't take a brave man to say, yeah. Go in there. Barack Obama didn't go in there. No. Why is it, why is he so brave? No. So the Navy SEALs, w w when, if this is true, the Navy SEALs went in there and did what they have to do. D those are the brave guys. And uh, so he wants to take full credit for, for this? No. No. All, all he did was be at the right place at the right time. That's all he did. If Bush was in charge, Bush would have said go in there. If, Richard Nixon was the president at, 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 at the time. He would have been intelligent to say, yeah, go in and get him. And why not bring him in for questioning? Why not bring him in to make him, to give him a fair trial like this country is supposed to do, like we supposedly did with uh, Saddam Hussein? Give him a trial. Hang him. Make it public. Satisfy the masses so that there aren't conspiracy theories. Of course now, any picture that comes out, whether it's true, whether it's fake, is going to be scrutinized. You know what? First of all, they did try to, to, to show physical evidence with a doctored picture. But then somebody quickly realized, dude, the, the, the citizens of this country are not that stupid. Americans are smarter than that. The world is smarter than, than that. Take that picture down. It was a doctored picture. It was fake. They quickly remembered, oh, yeah, you know, Internet guys aren't that dumb. We know how to Photoshop pictures. We do it all the damn time. So come on, take this bullshit down. They're not stupid. So now that they have no real evidence to to show us they're not going to even attempt to doctor anything this is not they're not going to show any anything it's all bullshit it is all lies don't believe it don't believe it you want to celebrate that 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 the man's dead fine but don't celebrate this fake bullshit lie that they're telling us now the, 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 this is all for votes this is all to satisfy the American appetite for for destruction. You know what I mean? I have a lot to say, but like I said, go to Wrestling Jesus channel because he said everything. He said every, everything. I mean, I really can't say anything else that he didn't say. You know, but um, believe and 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 if you want to say Yankees fans not patriotic, I'm 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 an American for saying this stuff. You go right ahead, go right on ahead. But I served this country for 15 years. All right, I I lost my family over this bull bullshit. My marriage went down the tubes for being separated. From my from my family and and during times when my wife and I were having problems, I couldn't be there. I couldn't be at home to figure out those problems with her because I was sent away or I was moved to a, another state. By that time, she didn't even want to follow me. 
Because we were just having so many problems. You know, had we been together, had I not been moving around so much, we, we could have worked that out. But she saw me moving away as an opportunity to say, well, you know what, let him go away. Maybe we can figure out our problems individually. And, of course, that that didn't work. That doesn't work. So, yeah. Uh, I've, I've been through a lot. Okay, being in the Army has done a lot for me, but it's also taken a lot of things away. So don't tell me I'm un-American, I'm unpatriotic. Fuck you, you can go fuck yourself if that's what you think about me, but I'm not going, do your research. Don't be an idiot. Don't believe everything that your government tells you, no matter what government you're in, because all governments lie to get what they want. That's all I got to say. Peace.